All right, YouTubers, time to finally start my cellar video. We're gonna start out in my garage. I have this uh, refrigerator out here full of beer. So let's start at the top. A couple of sleeping with Shaggies from Green Flash. There's a Growler Old Guardian. I don't even know what year that is. Two bottles of Silva Stout going through this shelf. This is a Stone Sawyer's Triple. They made that as a charity beer. I think they've only done that beer twice. Chocolate Oak Age Yeti from 2011. Batch 2, Life and Lamb. Uh, this is a Mammoth's Lair of the Bear Barrel Aged uh, Imperial Stout. I got a Carl Strauss 21st Anniversary 09 Alaska Smoke Porter. 2012 Owens Raven from Alpine. There's a Stone 12th Anniversary back there. Uh, Mammoth Blues Palooza from 2012. Stone 8th Anniversary. I'm not going to see a lot of those anymore. Midnight Sign Berserker. There's um, Rodenbach 08 Vintage. Oops, I didn't put this on my list. Stone Cherry Chocolate and Rye Whiskey. That, um, behind, those are all Stone Vertical Epics. And then back here is a uh, Hess first anniversary beer. Bottom row, Trader Joe's Vintage, Voodoo Donut, which I've been meaning to review. That's an 09 Alesmith Decadence, that's the Dunkel Weizenbach, 2010 Old Guardian, and Bourbon Barrels. That's a 2006 Stone IRS, and that's a growler of 2012 IRS. So let's go to the door here. 2011 Bigfoot, two bottles of Stones, Collaboration, uh, El Camino Unreal Black Ale. It's a great beer. Some more Green Flash stuff. Silva, two more Shaggies. 2010 Abyss. Another Sawyer's Triple. On the bottom shelf to wrap it up, we have the uh, 15th Anniversary Imperial Black IPA. That's in Highland Barrels, Highland Scotch Barrels. Batch one of Iron Fist Uprising. Got a bunch of other for Batch one stuff. Fantone Print Temps. There's the El Camino in uh, Virgin American Oak. That needed time. That was really tanny when I tried it. Another barely stone beer. Saison de Buff and red wine. They might have done a white wine version. I can't remember. But that's the fridge. We'll uh, move on to the other fridge in okay, my so kitchen. Here's the uh, fridge. Not a whole lot of food in it since I'm getting food tomorrow for a week. Um, most of the stuff I'm going to drink in the near future. But Brewery's White Chocolate, Black and White, BBB uh, Phantom. Jameson's uh, homebrew quad. That's some of my Belma Pale Ale and a Hill Farmstead Growler. Uh, 2012 Midnight Sun Tree. That's a 2011 Yeti. Coronado Stupid Stout. A lot of the stuff's not going to go into my cellar, but this will. Cross Strauss Parrot and Palm Tree. It's the first of that series. It's a local brewery. Most people haven't heard of, but that's their barrel aged brown porter. I think I was in whiskey barrels. Coco Mole from uh, New Belgium. The meaning to review Ballast Point Injury Conindra. I already reviewed Chocolate Porter. They sent that out to me. This is the recent batch of Exponential Hoppiness from Alpine and then Mammoth's Blondie Buck. The mean to open those soon. So let's go in here. It's sort of like my Green Flash uh, section. That's uh, six bottles of recent batch of Silva Stout. I got another four of Sleeping Shaggy. Bought a lot of that. It was a half a case each I bought. Buried behind there by that 7-Up is uh, Anchor's 2011 Christmas Ale. And then I have a, let's see, that's a 2012 Bigfoot. And then next to those two Bigfoots are the original batch of Silva Stout. Still have two of those left. Bell's Batch 10,000 that Daniel brought out. Still haven't got to that. New batch of Vessel Letter in 12. That's Hair of the Dog Shoots, Collage Number 1. Ruthless Rye, which I need to drink that soon. Then I have a Saison du Buffs over here. It's the first batch from Stone, second batch from Stone, second batch from Dr. Shed. But I was gonna do a video on all those, some homebrew. And then there's my third bottle of the El Camino Unreal Black Ale. So that's the fridge right now. All right, so this is the cupboard that sort of started all. This is what I was first keeping beer. And of course, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of whiskey as well, bourbon and, and scotch. Even a bottle of wine, some Ballast Point Old Grove Gin. So uh, let's get those out. So I got my Chimay glass. I got it with these three beers. These are from uh, Christmas time 2010. So they actually have some age on them. Been meaning to uh, get to these. But I figure all that the triples should age really, really well. The triples usually better fresh, but 
All right, we're gonna take this out in layers. It's gonna be interesting. So we have Penapot 2010 Peche Mortel, which I don't know why I'm aging that since it's coffee stout. Bourbon County 2010, that still needs a ton of age. Penapot Reserve from 09, that's probably drinking pretty good. Peter sent me out a while ago, Centubina. Don't know how I'm gonna open that. Um, pretty much no one's ever heard of that beer. 2013 Bigfoot, two of those. So Founders Breakfast Stout. Um, I think this is a 2011 batch or 2010. If there's no date, it's 2010. Just seeing what age will do. Uh, there's another one hiding back there. That should be a. Tw that's a 2011 on there. Let's see the date. Uh, 2012 Bigfoot. Let's see. This is a 2011 KBS. I had to write the date on the, up there to keep track because I also have a, a 2010 as well. Green Flash Treasure Chest. This was like a test batch for Rayon Vert. Uh, I believe I have two bottles of that left. Yeah, there's a second one there. Dark Tree from Boulevard. Just seeing how that does. Some Avery stuff. I have two each of 2011 Rankin and the 2012 Uncle Jacob Stout. Here the dog Adam, that's batch 78, Up dates it back to I think like early 2011 or even 2010. Stones, Perfect Crime, see what it does with age, and the Cherry Chocolate Stout, see what that does with age. J.W. Lee's, this is really sweet when I had it, aged in Lagavulin barrels. Come on, focus, set that down. Those beers are so sweet, fresh, so... Let's uh, get that camera to focus. Yeah, screw it. There's some uh, sanctification. That is batch five. I think that puts that somewhere probably in 2011. Cuvee Renata age. Dogfish head 2009 worldwide stout. That might need a decade to age out properly. Mission Street brewed by uh, Firestone Walker. That's their brown. That's, uh, I think, a 2011 Red Poppy. Just a cheap left coast and perfect style. See how it does. Old Rasputin 12. I still have that. This is one of the first beers I bought. This is the most expensive beer I bought at the time. I think it was like 21 or 22 bucks. Fortunately, I've spent a lot more money on beer since then. There's a Victory at Sea from 2010. So you're in Nevada. Which one is this? Oh, it's the black barley wine. I really like that one. I was curious to see how I do with age because it did have a little heat on it fresh. That's from 2010, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 20, 2011 Bigfoot for uh, vertical in there. I just drank one of these last night. Hairy Eyeball. It's drinking great. It still, still has a lot of sweetness to it, so it could use some more time, but that beer is, uh, ages really well. All right, so that's the cupboard. Now it's time to get through all those boxes. We got one bottle in here as, as I was taking inventory. That's a 2011 Older Viscosity. That beer age is awesome. Okay, before we go through all the boxes in my house, uh, we're gonna go to my music room. You can see amplifiers and stuff. We'll take a look at the Lost Abbey box set. This is tracks one through 12. So we got an all access badge, shiny. Certificate of Authenticity. This is a record album with all the artwork inside. I haven't even opened that yet. Sorry for the glare. And then uh, here's all the tracks. Didn't have room for track 13, that was a bonus. But um, yeah, there's all the tracks in there. Uh, I you know, never did a video for this, or did I? I can't even remember at this point. But anyway, so there's... Uh, Part of the collection there. That was a very, very, very expensive box set right there. But just wanted to quickly show you that. Here are the two three liters that I co-own with my uh, with my cousin from Stone, 2012 Double Bastard and Vertical Epic 121212. 12, 12. Very cool. They're actually flip top growlers. So next, if we uh, empty this Double Bastard anytime it's available for fill at Stone, then we can fill this thing up so it acts as a growler as well. Same with 12-12-12 though, I can't imagine getting this filled with that beer anymore, unless there's a variation to it. 